Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all the things that help me live each day a little brighter and a little healthier. I'm April Lauren, and in this video, we are going to do three miles for time, and I'm going to pick out which 5K I am going to do. I shared in a recent video that this summer I've been doing a couch to 5K program, and that in September, I want to run my first 5K. That shift on focusing on what my body can do and how I can improve that way as opposed to how I look has been so healthy for me and it has helped me in so, so many ways. And that just makes me even more excited to share this part of my journey with you, picking out my 5K and letting this three miles for time show me kind of where I'm at and what I need in my first 5K. So without further ado, let's just get right in to it. I've been looking at races and there's basically one every weekend of September. And I would really like to do the first part of September, but I don't know if I'm gonna be ready for that. And I don't wanna do the end of September because there's a race here, a 5K here in Fayetteville that I want to do on October 1st. So I want a September 5K because that was my goal for myself. And now I've just got to nail down which one. I started working out in my home gym before I even started like trying to actively lose weight. And I could barely move. Like walking to my mailbox was not something I was really capable of. It hurt my back to walk into the grocery store. Like when I parked my car, I wanted to park close to where you put the cart back so that I could grab a cart so I had support to walk inside. And I have come so far from that and I am really excited to, to run my first 5K. <laughs> and I'm excited to share with you this three miles for time. So let's go ahead and get to the track. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. From me and Mr. Julio Bone. Today I am doing three miles for time and I am answering the question, which 5K should I run? And a lot of that's gonna depend on how this run goes. So let's get to the track. I just pulled up and it's um, already packed. So it is, this track is always busy. I think the best time to come is like right at sunrise and then there may or may not, like during the week you can't because they do PT and stuff, but my gosh, there's a bird right there. Can you see that? How pretty. Easily distracted I am. So today my big plan is to do intervals for the whole three miles. So, so far the longest I've done intervals is like 35 minutes. I need to look at my training plan. I might do two minutes. Two minute jog followed by 90 second walk. So I'm like in the in-between, I could go up to next week and do next week's. But I feel like whenever the very first week, like the first day of the next week when I adjust and run 30 seconds farther, it's always like 30 seconds give and take pretty much. Um, it's always like a little bit challenging. It always makes me anxious running in front of lots of other people or just doing anything in front of lots of other people. <laughs> it's a little exciting. So, I, one, have to decide, am I gonna do an early September, mid-September, or end of September 5K? And I'm gonna go ahead and pick one, and today is essentially gonna determine which one I am going to do. So, how I feel running for three continuous miles, I know a 5K is over three miles. We're gonna see how I feel. We're gonna see if I feel like death, like I'm dying, like dead or if I feel like comfortable and then I also want to see how I feel tomorrow so like tomorrow do I have any shin like pain do I have feet like am I hurting anywhere this entire time I've been running I haven't experienced any pain anywhere there's discomfort so I think I talk a lot about not feeling pain or feeling really good 
And when I say I feel really good, usually that means the absence of pain. And when I say I don't feel any pain, it means I don't feel pain. I feel discomfort. Being uncomfortable, feeling discomfort is different. Pain to me typically signals that I need to stop doing whatever it is I'm doing. Or like my body is just, I'm pushing it in a way that my body is not ready to be pushed. I am dying. Like, I did not run the whole thing intervals. Like, I am so hot. My heart rate was getting up so high. So I was like, the second mile, I switched things up, hoping that it would help. It's just the heat. Like, the heat index is so high. I should have got here at like 6 a.m. So I think I'm gonna redo this. My husband. Hey, babe. Well, what's it Telling YouTube how bad that sucked. So my last three mile per time video that I attempted was also kind of a not great. It felt like I got overwhelmed and it just, it just did not happen. <laughs> did not happen. I hear there are so many people that, and it's such a wonderful thing. It's such a wonderful thing to have so many people into their fitness and to have a busy track to go to. Like that's, it's, Pretty, it's a pretty awesome thing. However, it does make me very anxious to film, which happened here. And so when I got to the track, I just sat in my car. I talked to you guys for a lot longer than what you see in this video. And then I still waited a little bit longer before I started. And then I finally, people started leaving. There were still people there. There were still a good amount of people there. And I got out. And it's the first time that I tried this interval like for a whole three miles as opposed to just doing it for the allotted time. I briskly walked a few laps to warm up. Then I started my three miles. And at this point it was so hot. And one side of the hot, went, the side away from the bleachers was a lot cooler. Something about that, the the bleachers, I think it just blocked the wind and the sun was shining directly on it. It was so, so miserably hot. It was so hot. And so by the time I got through mile two, I was like looking at my heart rate. I always am checking my heart rate. I don't want to push too hard. And when your heart gets up to a certain point, it's like, mm, no, we shall not go any harder or faster, or maybe we should just go cool down in the shade. And I didn't want to stop, so I kept going. I just walked. So I walked that last that last mile and decided that I would come back another morning. Alrighty, so I am about to go teach yoga, but I thought that I would check in. Right now, I feel really good. So I did the three miles. I did not run as much of it as I had intended because of the heat. And so anyway, right now I feel really good. Nothing sore, nothing hurts. Um, I did um, my massage gun thing last night just on my hip flexors and stuff. But that, like feeling good now and then doing some yoga usually tells me other things. <laughs> like if I, if how sore I am in other places. So I'm just curious how that's gonna go. And I thought that I would check in now and then check in after class. So I'm gonna go inside and I'll see you right after. After the yoga class, I felt really good still. Like I felt great. I did wanna allow two days in between this attempt and the next one. And so you'll see me in DC. Good morning, beautiful people. I am not at home. <laughs> we are in DC. I have not been filming much at all. Got up super early this morning and I thought I was gonna go with my husband, but it did not work out. Which worked out because I got to spend more time with my friend Yenna and our little ones. And yeah, I had a great time and I had time to do my three miles per time. I am here. It is very humid. You probably can't really see me, but you may recognize it. I am at Fort Belvoir, so we'll see how this goes. I completely fogged over now.
This three miles for time definitely sealed the deal that I want a later September 5K. I know that I run faster and my breathing is better. My heart rate stays lower when it is cooler. The hotter it is, the harder it is for me to keep that under control. I am very happy that I completed my three miles for time in 46 minutes and 27 seconds. Doing this three mile for time, I felt so good. It felt so good to be out there pushing myself. It is definitely one of, it's such a mind game um, when, when I do things like jogging or my intervals and especially every week when the run time goes up, that first run, it's always like, I don't like this. Like, this is not fun. This is challenging me. And then by the end of the week, it's easy. And that is such a fun thing to experience and then increasing it. <laughs> um, so I get to repeat it the next week, which is not always like as then, but kind of like, maybe I just want to stay at right here and be comfortable. <laughs> but no, I push forward and I love that in life as we continue to move forward, as we breathe, into our discomfort, we become stronger and more capable. And little by little, day by day, I am stronger and able to do more. And I am able to live and be kinder to myself. The more I practice being kind to myself, the easier it becomes. And I have had a very, very rough couple months. The past two months have been filled with some of the most precious highs and then some of the most traumatic lows. And I am just excited to continue to press forward. I have definitely taken some time, which I'm still doing to just be and to focus on continuing forward and not reverting into past tendencies. Um, I've been faced with some feelings that I have not had to deal with in so, so long. And it's just, it's been a struggle. And I am, I love that as I do these physical activities that I do, I become stronger and more resilient. And that helps me so much in life. And focusing on what my body can do as opposed to what my body looks like also helps me continue forward and it helps me continue to lose the weight. And it's just a powerful thing. Let's take a look at my three miles for time in the past. So I am at the track on post trying to figure out, wow, the track's like flooded. <laughs> I don't even want to walk in this grass because it's all wet. Gina's somewhere on the track. Yeah, she is. She's on the other side of it. <laughs> so we're going to walk. My calves hurt. <laughs> You know, it's fine. <laughs> but my cat's hurt. And I gotta poop. So I'm taking my walk off this track towards the porta potty. Just so you know. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm so. Alright, so Yenna just left, which she got here before I did, and she did a full mile before. So I'm gonna continue. I have like, I don't know, two or three more laps, and I'll be at three miles. Yay! <laughs> and the rain stopped, so that's also good. Well, I did three miles in 
doesn't say anymore, in like 64 minutes. I really can't wait to, to do more. We have a DECA mile coming up and I'm pretty excited about that. So that's the DECA that I've, I've done a few times now. And then you add a run in. The run is a totals up to a mile, but it's just, it's like 160 meters each zone. So I'm pretty sure I'm not running, but I'm very excited for it. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <sighs> I've got to go. I don't have time to talk about anything because my husband and I have an appointment. <sighs> so I gotta do that before we can go. <laughs> first mile I walked in 15 minutes and 55 seconds the second mile I walked in at 16 minutes and the third mile I was having like a little pain in my ankle where I have a plate um, screwed in and so I slowed up just a little bit and then at the end I tried to speed it up which is you know it didn't really help <laughs> it was still 17 minutes and 16 seconds which you can kind of see it says mile four that was only for a few seconds so if you total up the first three miles it comes to 49 minutes and 11 seconds so on the far left we have march 25th 2021 i did my first three miles for time i didn't even know that that's what i would be doing when i went to the track, I wasn't sure how far I could actually walk. I was just gonna do one mile for time. And then Yenna and I started walking and I was feeling good. And I was like, I wonder how far I could go. And Yenna's always been the best cheerleader. So she pushed me and I kept going. And then she's like, all right, I have to go. She had to, I don't remember what she had to do, but she had to leave. And um, I was like, I'm gonna keep going because I'm gonna do three miles. And I did. And then in February this year, I did it and I started doing some intervals. Like I, I hadn't decided I was gonna do that before. I hadn't done any type of jogging or anything before, but I did a little bit on a couple of the miles, the first two. And then at the very end, I did a little bit and um, it was a, definitely a different experience than what I experienced this time or in the past. So. I'm very happy with my progress. I'm very excited to have done three miles in 46 minutes and 27 seconds. And I can't wait to see where I'm at at the end of my training. I love that I have documented my progress. Like I have both the weight loss portion and especially the fitness component and how much my mobility has changed and how much more I'm capable of. It feels so, it just feels really good. It feels really good to progress. It feels really good to be able to see where I've come from. It's so easy in the moment to forget. It's easy to look in the mirror and just be critical and to not see the progress. And when I feel the progress, like when I, when I ran my three miles for time, this time it felt good. I felt strong. I felt powerful and it was hot. <laughs> it was so hot. There were so many challenges to it and I just pushed through and that it makes me so happy. And watching after the fact, like watching that first three miles for time where I had more pain, like when I talk about it in these videos, it, it like it takes me back. And so when I was taken back to that March first time that I did the three miles for time, I could feel my calves burning. And I don't feel that even doing my three miles for time, this time where I was pushing myself a little bit harder, I don't feel that type of tension or resistance from my body. And I breathe so much better. Everything is so much better and it makes me just so proud, little by little. I think the challenging part of little by little is sometimes it's harder to recognize progress. And then the great thing about little by little is that it, it's, you're fortified. Like you've built a level of training into your body, into your routine. Like you, I've changed. My whole life is different and it's been slow moving like a turtle. And that brings me to the last part of this video. I decided on a, on a 5K. <laughs> so I picked a race and I am very excited because for so many reasons, uh, just to finally sign up. It's called the Surf to Sound and it is to 
help rescue and rehabilitate sea turtles. So that is what they're building funding for, raising awareness for, and I'm very excited to do this first 5K. And I, if you're in North Carolina or within driving distance and walking, running, or doing a little bit of both, is something that you might be interested in. I'd love for you to come and do it with me. And I hope to see you there. And I hope to see you on my videos as I continue to train and work towards running my first 5K. Thank you so much for encouraging me and supporting me on my weight loss journey and on my fitness journey. I am so grateful for you. And slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady. We are worth doing the work it takes to get there. And just remember, you are worth it. Love you so much.